Just into the WDRB newsroom, LMPD just moments ago talked about the two new arrests made in the road rage shooting that paralyzed a six year old girl. WDRB's Amanda Roberts tells us the new details we've just learned. Amanda? Yeah, Chris, federal and LMPD agents stood together today, proud to say that this investigation came to an end with community help and tireless investigation after they arrested these two. We will not stand by and allow those who use violence to harm our community. ATF stands with LMPD and together we are committed to making Louisville a safer place to work and live. Agents and officers say that it was Edward Sark who was on the right side of your screen. He was the main aggressor, they say. Today, he and a co-defendant went before a judge for assault and wanton endangerment charges. Police say that the night of July 10th, a group of motorcycles was speeding and weaving in and out of traffic on I-64 near Outer Loop. Court documents say that Bisconer, Shelby Bisconer, who was the other co-defendant, was riding on the back of the motorcycle that Edward Sark was driving. Documents say that Sark fired at the SUV, that the six-year-old was riding and shooting out the back glass, paralyzing her. Police say that as Onyx dad started driving her to the hospital in the SUV, he pinned one of the motorcyclists near the ramp at University Hospital. The arrest report does say that the shell casings police found at the scene matched Shelby Bisconer's gun. Her co-defendant Edward Sark was arraigned and pleaded not guilty. He will stay in jail on a $50,000 bond. Bisconer's attorney Jared Hill, however, argued for her release, saying that she is not the one who's responsible for this. Someone is defending themselves against the lawfully defending themselves against the aggression of, a, of another person makes them immune from civil and criminal prosecution. They should not have been arrested. This young lady should never have been arrested. She never should have been charged. She is her. They attempted to strike her at 60 miles per hour, grazed her, hit the other motorcyclist at 60 miles per hour. It's lucky that he's alive. Now, the judge decided that she would release Bisconer on home incarceration in lieu of a bond. Meanwhile, a federal grand jury also indicted the third defendant, Jonathan Rivera, for being a convicted felon with a handgun, but not for shooting Onyx. I'm Amanda Roberts for WDRB News.